I'm Alison from Newcastle Speech Pathology and Speech Online. So, you're ready to book an appointment with a speech pathologist. Well, that's great news. It's always a good idea to search the web and see what services are available close to you and have a chat to friends about some of their experience with a speech pathologist. But at the end of the day, choosing a speech pathologist is a really personal decision. And not everybody is the right fit. So here are just a few questions to consider, just to help you get started. So first of all, does your speech pathologist really listen and understand your situation right now? Do you feel comfortable asking questions? And are you given answers in a way that you can actually understand? Have you worked together to set your goals? Do you feel comfortable in their clinic environment? The clinic is often an extension of our home, so we like to make people feel very welcome and at ease from the moment they step through the door. Does the practice you're visiting have a policy and procedure for making complaints? Are the speech pathologists in the practice all members of Speech Pathology Australia, a national body? Speech pathologists who are members of Speech Pathology Australia are committed to evidence-based best practice. Does your child feel comfortable with a speech pathologist? Or, as an adult client, do you feel as though you can easily relate to your speech pathologist? And finally, does your speech pathologist have a police clearance for working with children and older adults? Just a few questions for you to consider. And if you're looking for a speech pathologist, we'd love to hear from you.